powerful hurricanes and typhoons, devastating droughts. Extreme weather is no longer an unusual event, says meteorologist Mark Jackson with the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA. Extreme weather is, is the norm across the globe. There are certain things such as heat waves, such as droughts, and, and um, in, some case, in some parts of the, of the globe, heavy precipitation, that we are seeing an increase in these events. And the weather outlook is not expected to improve, says Glenn McDonald, geography professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. Places which are dry are probably going to get drier globally. Places which are already wet are probably going to get wetter. They're going to get the precipitation we're, we're missing out on. But McDonald is cautious when talking about extreme weather because he says scientists only have about 150 years of climate observations on record. In terms of attributing, in terms of general hurricane system, the general flood system, the general drought, drought system, that, uh, that precipitation events have become more extreme or something like that. I just don't think we have the, the statistics to, to show that generalization is true right now. Scientists say one way to minimize the devastating effects of extreme weather is a forecast that sees further than the current 14 days. NOAA will be developing an extreme weather outlook that can predict events 15 to 30 days in the future. It's very possible and it's, and it's something that could be a very powerful tool to help us better adapt and be prepared for these extreme events. Improved forecasts and longer warning times are of little value unless they are heated. Jerry Schubel of the Aquarium of the Pacific says the public needs to understand the seriousness of extreme weather. There's no place in the world that is immune. And climate continues to change. One way to inform people is this. It's called Science on a Sphere. Developed by NOAA, it projects scientific data and educational programs onto a suspended globe. This one is produced by the Aquarium of the Pacific. From Europe to Asia to North and South America, more than 100 museums and institutions around the world have installed Science on a Sphere so people can better understand their environment, its challenges, and what can be done to adapt to a changing world. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles. The more challenging